A microphone check. One, two, one, two. Great. Greetings, royal family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of the Morning Boogie Morning Show. Happy Wednesday. It's Wednesday, October the 6th. Already? Sheesh, October just started and we're six days in. What zodiac sign uh, are we in now? Is Libra? Is it Libra? Shout out to all the Libras. I know a couple of Libras, I think, right? Yeah, October, the beginning of October. So if it's your birthday month, if it's your birthday week, if it's your birthday, shout out to you. Happy birthday to the Libra gang in October. All right, everybody. So yesterday I fell asleep twice watching the BET Hip Hop Awards. I did record it, so I had to keep on rewinding it. I paused it, fell asleep. Snooze Fest 2021. I think this was the absolutely, positively worst BET Hip Hop Awards ever. That's just my opinion. It is what it is. Shout out to the Motivator Libra Gang in the building. Happy birthday. Is it today? Is it today? Did it pass? I know it's sometime this week. Shout out to you, brother. Shout out to my live Twitch viewers, royal family members on YouTube. If you are not following me on Twitch, you should be. Make sure you follow me on Twitch. She underscore royal B. Twitch family gets it live and direct. You know what I'm saying? No shade. Y'all get it pre-recorded. It's all good, though. I appreciate the love. I greatly appreciate the love. All right. So the BET Hip Hop Awards was a disaster. Straight up disaster. I like I said, I was, I had no, the cipher was a. I'm really disappointed. I'm seriously disappointed. R. Kelly plans on snitching uh, on his colleagues in the music industry. This is a rumor. I don't know if this is true. I we shall see. Ray J has been hospitalized with pneumonia. Uh, last update that I heard from the Breakfast Club early this morning, Charlemagne the God did say that he spoke to Ray J and he is home quarantining away from his family. So we wish Ray J a speedy recovery. So I'll touch on that. Got a little bit of Rihanna news. And then I'm going to give a full breakdown uh, of the list of winners from the BET Hip Hop Awards. All right. So as you're coming in, replay gang on YouTube, hit the like button. Like the video. I can't stress that enough. Those of you who have been liking the video and commenting, even though, you know, even if you drop in and hit an emoji or just wave your hand, I appreciate it. It's engagement. It is a simple form of payment that costs you absolutely nothing. So like the damn video, okay? It is what it is. <laughs> All right, let's get into it. So before we get into the shenanigans, okay, um, let me start off with this. Now, I thought this was very, very interesting, and I and I like to inform my people, okay? I do a lot of reading. I read a lot of articles. I read stuff that doesn't pertain to me, that does pertain to me. I just like to read. I'm nosy. I like to be informed, right? So Kellogg's, their U.S. cereal plant, their workers go on strike. Now, this, this could affect most of us. If you use Kellogg brands, you know, cereals. Kellogg uh, makes other things besides cereals. So this could possibly affect you. So the cereal maker has been negotiating the payment and benefit terms of a new contract. Um, the existing one expired at midnight just this past Monday with union workers for a while now. Now, Kellogg has de demanded that workers give up quality health care, retirement benefits, and holiday and vacation pay, okay? So the workers, they're not happy about that, right? So Kellogg is basically saying, look, if these workers don't get back to work in these factories and start pumping out these Fruit Loops and Frosted Flakes and things, we're going to send your jobs overseas to Mexico. Now, why the heck am I talking about this? Because I want to. And secondly, this could affect quality of the products i'm just saying i'm not i'm not throwing daggers at anybody so if you see a toenail or something in your cereal just beware okay i feel like people are consumers of a lot of kellogg's products so you should be aware of this right um i do think it's a shame that a company like kellogg's which is probably a trillion dollar company if i'm not mistaken if not billion dollar whatever um why are the workers going on strike 
because you don't want to give them quality health benefit. That's absolutely positively ridiculous. And like I said yesterday, if you watched the Morning Boogie Morning Show yesterday, when I talked about Mark Zuckerberg losing about $5 billion and that's still not putting a dent in his wallet, this is the problem with this country and greed, not just this country, hoarding wealth. Why do the workers who keep the lights on, keep the products in rotation, why are they on strike? Because you don't want to provide them with quality health care. Are you kidding me? So you guys can read that article. You can just Google Kellogg strike. I think CNN, I saw, th I saw this late last night uh, or early this morning, and CNN has picked it up in a couple of other media outlets. So I'll spare you of reading the long article. It's worth the read. It's like a two-minute read, you know. So I just don't understand. You're a trillion-dollar company, and you don't want to give your damn workers health care? <laughs> That's the least. You're probably not even paying them anything. And see, what? And let me tell you something about food services and customer service. I'm a big stickler for customer service while I'm giving this little, uh, you know, breakdown, make sure you hit the like button. Let me just say this real quick, seriously, because I'm a consumer of things, right? We all are to some degree, right? You know, fast food, cell phone service, cable, whatever. I'm a stickler for customer service. I treat, especially in the, uh, food service industry, I treat the, uh, the workers, food service workers, with the utmost respect, like I would treat anyone, right? What I find though, is that when you have people who are overworked and underpaid, the quality of the service declines. So when you pull up to a, I don't know, a fast food restaurant and the line is long and the food service worker has an attitude. You know, when I was younger, I used to say to myself, why do people choose jobs like these? And they know that they don't like people and they have an attitude. Well, because I'm older and a lot wiser, some people don't have a choice. For some people, that's the only job that they can get. You don't understand what I'm trying to say? And it's the most convenient job. It may pay little. They're probably being overworked, like I said, treated like crap. So again, the service that we, the customers receive, sacrifice good service. So treat your workers better, damn it. You are, like I said, you a billion dollar company. It's not like you can't afford it. Ugh. Greed is going to be the demise, among other things, of mankind. Moving along, speaking of animals, <laughs> I wasn't talking about animals, but why the hell not? Remember this joker? This was the guy who, um, in New Jersey, shout out to New Jersey, I just want to go on record and say that he does not represent us Jersey folk, okay? We're not all like this. He's an anomaly. So the Shade Room, I'm trying to pull this up on my phone, the Shade Room reported um, that this guy basically got hit with 22 counts uh, for um, six separate criminal, 22 charges for six separate criminal uh, incidents. This was the guy that was in New Jersey that was terrorizing his neighbors, right? Let me see if I could slide this. I'm not going to play the audio because why? Remember the cops arrested him and everybody was protesting outside of his house. Um, the community was rejoicing, throwing stuff at him as he was being escorted out. This guy, remember him? So this was a video that went viral of a man, um, you know, tormenting his, his neighbor. So another neighbor recorded it and he was basically, now here's the thing. I remember when this first happened and I think I posted this to my Instagram that everybody is rejoicing. That's great because they, some people didn't know, but this man had other charges for the same thing, harassing people. Right. And the judge threw it out. There wasn't sufficient evidence to convict him or charge him with anything, but there has been countless reports of this man doing the same thing if not a little bit worse than what you just saw on video so although he has been he's fa he's facing 22 charges for six separate criminal incidents why the hell did it take so long for him to be reprimanded i don't think that that's fair i think that's a that's a deeper question that we should you know explore i understand oh better late than never but what if one of his uh you know tangents or one of his incidents would have went awry and somebody would have lost their life then what so uh I, I'm, I'm encouraging the justice system to do your damn job okay and we should press these people in new jersey and in this county why has he gotten away with this so if you want to read in detail you can okay um, i'm trying to save time so i'm trying to consolidate these topics and kind of give you the summary you know what i'm saying so everybody like i said everybody is rejoicing everybody's happy but to me it took too damn long right 
Um, I'm trying to think what else I wanted to point out about this. Nothing else. But it just goes to show the only reason why he they probably pressed him so hard is because the video went viral and even when the cop was approaching him he was like stanley or whatever the cop's name was stanley you could do whatever you want to do and they were like take it easy like they know him so they come let me move on before i say something crazy i just i just can't you know better late than never i guess move it along sonia norwood's boy Done got the pneumonia. He's okay. He's okay. You know, sometimes we like to use comedy to ease our pain. You know, it's not uh, C thing related, so he doesn't have that C thing. But um, he's doing. He's doing okay. Again, according to Charlemagne the God, he said he spoke to him this morning, and he said everything is okay. So this is according to Revolt. The One Wish singer told Revolt that he has been hospitalized for a week, and no one from his family has come to visit him. I've been in here all by myself for a week, he told Revolt, adding that no family members came to see me, not even my wife. See, hold on now. <laughs> you know, Ray J is really something else. He knows how to attract the audience. I'm telling you, he really does. Good, bad, or in between. Could it be that because of what's going on, Ray J, they might not be able to come see you? I don't I don't know. I know recently he changed his relationship status on social media to separated or single. And, you know, the blogs were, were talking about that. Um, Ray J later clarified that his family is not allowed, there we go, to be in the room with him due to that C thing protocol. He said, God is good. This is what he wrote. Family with me just can't be in here too much sickness, right? Um, he recently tattooed Brandy, his sister. How how is it that people didn't know that Brandy and Ray J were brother and sister? That was trending like last week or over the weekend on Twitter. They didn't know that Brandy and Ray J were related. I don't. Okay, I guess I guess maybe people didn't care. I don't know. But he got a, a tattoo of his sister's name on his uh, arm. One thing I will say about that Sonya Norwood, she makes sure that that Brandy and Ray J, them kids of hers, are tight and i love that i do love how they go to bat for each other i love how they support each other neither one of them has ever said anything negative about the other in the press even though you can tell you know they probably had their fair share of disagreements or whatever but it never sonia norwood is very big on that family business should not be spilled to the public that was her gripe is her gripe with ray j's wife uh princess love remember when they were on love and hip-hop anyway i digress so Reddy said that he can't have visitors because, you know, they isolated the room. Um, he said he's been on FaceTime with his family every single day. He's, you know, not much is known, not much more is known about the, the condition. But again, like I said, I think this is the third time I'm saying it. Um, <laughs> uh, Charlemagne the God, I was listening to The Breakfast Club this morning. So Charlemagne the God stated that he spoke with Ray J and all is well. And of course, he's, you know, Ray, uh, Charlemagne sends everybody healing energy. So, so shout out to Ray J. Um, I hope all is well. It's good news to hear that it's not C thing related. Uh, and it is, you know, pneumonia caught it in time. You know, you can be treated with antibiotics and hopefully he's not drinking and he's taking care of himself. Let me tell you something. We're getting up in age. Okay. We got to start paying attention to, to our surroundings, what we entertain. We got to guard our gates. We got to start being mindful of what we ingest, you know, orally, auditorily, visually. Ooh, <laughs> somebody get me in the booth. I feel like, I feel like freestyling after them BT awards. I need to be in the cypher cause I'm, I'm highly disappointed. So I'm trying to hurry up to get to the BET Awards. All right. I don't really even want to talk about this because the way my YouTube channel is set up, they don't like when I talk about the aura. Okay. So this is according to allhiphop.com. So aura, Robert promises to snitch on other people in the industry. You see what it says there. Now, this is a rumor. I, I don't know how true this is. And if you were planning on snitching, why does anybody know Ara? You know, you're giving people a heads up. But if this is true, I'm not against it. I'm not against it. Tell on them all because he... listen, we know that 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 Robert is not the only one. It was just it's just his time right now, right? So he's going down and you know what? He's he wants to take other people with him. Why not? 
I, in this instance, why not? You can call him a snitch. You can call him whatever you want. But don't we want to know who these people, these CPs in the industry are? Why not? Let me get into this article, child. So according to uh, Chicago's WGCI-FM and iHeartRadio station, the disgraced R&B singer who was convicted of multiple counts of what he was convicted for uh, is allegedly trying to work it out with the prosecutors in Illinois in exchange for a reduced sentence. Now, okay, my ro- I know I got my royal intellects in here, the one who's very well-versed in, in legal matters. Uh... Can a deal be struck in this type of case? I don't I don't think so, right? There's no sort of shaving off your time because you cooperate. No, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, as can be expected, WAC 100, Lord, he always got something to say. He weighed in and gave his two cents about our, the, the, the Aura situation. But based on WAC 100's post, it sounds like he either knows who they are or he has some idea who the finger will be getting pointed at. All right. Now the neighborhood talk, they included the posts. I like when they cite sources, you know, so shout out to the neighborhood talk on Instagram. So the neighborhood talk posted this, R. Kelly plans to snitch on multiple celebrity people, a rapper and a big singer. So WAC 100 is alluding to the fact that he knows who is going to be outed. Now, here's the problem that I have. You see, sometimes people talk too damn much, you know what I mean, with with no objective. You know, I talk a lot, but I'm reporting the news. How you doing? Make sure y'all hit that like button. So, WAC 100, if you know who he's going to be outing, that means that you have some knowledge. You're admitting that you have some, you're kind of admitting or alluding to the fact that you have some knowledge of other individuals who have done the same thing that Aura has done. So what role have you played? (laughs) Right? Have you hung around these people? If you know what they're doing, if you know who he's going to point the finger at, or are you just being a chatty patty hmm, and looking for attention? Some people just, ugh, gosh, this guy. So if this is true, then they all need to go down no matter what genre of music they're in, no matter how much power they have in the industry, perceived or otherwise, no matter what color their skin or how well they can sing or dance or play an instrument. If they attacked little ones, uh, they got to go. They all got to go. Investigate them all. Try them all. Convict them all and hit them with the same charges, if not worse than our got. Leave nobody out. I, I don't disagree with that. Um, and I'm not going to sit here and play the game like, oh, I wonder who he talking about. I don't give a damn who it is. It could be your fave. It could be, I don't know. I don't know who the heck it is. If you have information and you have proof, expose them all. It is what it is. And again, um, this goes for actors, producers, uh, backup dancers, makeup artists, hell, janitors. I don't. I don't care who it is. Royal B love the kids and we got to protect these children at all costs, women, children, anybody, but, but kids, especially I, I, I love children and I'm very protective of all children. Okay. So it doesn't stop there though. Um, Vivica Fox is a part of, uh, cocktails and conversation on Fox soul. Uh, it's like a panel. It's Vivica Fox. Uh, what's Di- What's her name? Diamond from uh players club. <laughs> Why do we do that? Is it just me? Like, you'll always be like Rudy. You'll always be Diamond from the play- Players Cup. I know your name, but I can't think of it. Lisa Ray. Lisa Ray, Claudia Jordan, Selena Johnson. So they were all uh, talking about this. I don't know if Vivica Fox was on the panel, but I did see a clip of Selena Johnson talking about Ara, saying that he doesn't need to be in jail. He needs to be in counseling or he needs to be rehabilitated or something like that. So Lisa Ray and Selena Johnson were going back and forth and having a conversation about that. And for whatever reason, somebody decided to jump on Twitter. I didn't see the entire show. I don't, and I'm not going to play the clip because they'll, they'll ding me. I tried playing a clip from them before. And I had to cut it out and trim it out. So shout out to y'all over there. <laughs> Anywho, uh, Vivica Fox uh, responded to someone who added her. So someone said, 
uh, Vivica Fox, let's talk about how you were around R when a lot of this was going down. I guess you said you wouldn't snitch, and now you're calling him a snitch because he wants to out the other people? I figured street code, blah, blah, blah. So Vivica Fox entered the chat. Well, you added her. You called and she arrived. She said, look here, a-hole. I had no idea he was doing that to young women. I'm a stand-up woman. So don't you dare bring your beep beep over here and call me a coward. I guess that S is supposed to be an A. Now what? And she put the angry face emoji, clown face emoji, clown face emoji, and the fudge emoji that is supposed to be a pile of poop. Um, I don't know what to think about this. I mean, you added her, so of course, why not respond? And I think she has every right to defend herself. I mean, why the heck not? So let's talk about how you were. Oh, I guess you said you wouldn't snitch, and now you're calling him a snitch because he wants to out other I figured street code wouldn't matter in this case. You scared? That's the full uh, tweet. First of all, you, whoever this is, mind your business. And Vivica, let that be the last time that you respond. I understand people wanting to clear their name. I, I'm never going to tell anybody that they don't have a right to clear their name. That's a very serious allegation um, that you're attempting to put on Vivica Fox. Uh, I don't think Vivica Fox owes anyone an explanation. However, she got this person together. I would have gone a little bit deeper, but I understand she has an image to uphold. You know, she's 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 a professional. Like she said, she's a stand-up woman, so she probably didn't want to go too hard. But, yeah, she she gave enough. She gave enough. She gathered him really fairly quickly. Now, what do you guys think about all of this? Um, I, I tell it all. Tell it all. In this instance, tell all of it. I, I don't care if he thinks that that's going to shave off time off of his sentence, which I don't think it will because of the type of case that it is, right? There's no negotiating. This is a, a federal case, right? I don't know. I could be wrong. Correct me in the comments. I'm not above correction like I always say. It doesn't stop there, ladies and gentlemen. I saw this early this morning. Variety reported now let me tell you something but this is crazy to me youtube is removing his channel after his you know situation in court his conviction in court okay some people may say well all right i can understand that you know youtube has the right to do what they they want to do but get into this let me read the article so youtube permanently suspended two channels uh of ours um who was found guilty of, you know, whatever. I'm trying to avoid saying certain words, so keep up with me. But listen to this. YouTube hasn't banned his music. The internet video giant will continue to offer the singer's music catalog on YouTube music. Well, well, well. Isn't, isn't that something? Isn't that something? So we're going to suspend your channel. I think one of them had like 6 million um, followers, and the other one had like... 1 million, something like that. Um, did I just X out of the article? I sure did. Hold on, y'all. Just to give you the summary. Yeah, so one of them had 6 million, 6.4 million, and the other one had like 1.5 million. And <laughs> they took the channel. <laughs> they took the channels down, right? But again, his music is still going to be on YouTube Music. So, so basically, YouTube said you're not going to make any revenue from your channels, but we're still going to make money off of you. Ain't that a beep? Ain't that something? Sony music, Sony record label, Sony music, music label, whatever entity, huge Sony, Sony music. They dropped him, right? However, they still have his music. So if they want to use his music or anyone wants to get rights to use his music or what have you, Sony will still get paid. So we'll disassociate ourselves from you, but we still going to make money off of your art. Really? Now that type of hypocrisy, I'm not here for. I'm, I'm not here for. My whole thing is if you don't want anything to do with him, then don't have anything to do with him, his music or otherwise. So what does that say about YouTube? Yeah, we'll take your channels down, both your channels, so you can't generate any revenue. But we're still going to have your music, and we're going to profit off of your music. We're still going to get money from sponsors, 
to run your music on YouTube music. Sony probably going to get a cut, you know what I'm saying? And whoever owns rights to some of his music or whatnot, or has his publishing or whoever will make money. Now, what does that say about YouTube to you? What does that say about YouTube to you guys? Child, I don't, I don't understand. And I'm not attempting to understand, but what I do understand is likes. Mm -hmm. You see, you see that thumbs up button there. I understand that very well. Okay. I'm well versed in the likes. I want you guys to be well versed in the likes by hitting the like button. Sound off in the comments. What do you think about all of this? Did you watch the segment on cocktails with Queens with Claudia Jordan and them on Fox soul right, right on YouTube. Just, just Google it or click on it. You probably saw it on the blogs. Did you hear what Selena Johnson said about our not needing jail time, but needing mental help and some sort of mental rehabilitation. If so, what do you think? Drop down in the comments and let me know. All right, let me see what's up next, y'all. Let me pull this up. Oh, Rihanna, Riri, our good sis Riri, Rihanna. This is a picture of Rihanna and ASAP Rocky at the, the recent Met Gala when they showed up with blankets, child. Um, so basically what's going to happen is... Fenty stores, an actual brick and mortar Savage Fenty um, store is coming in 2022. I think that this is a phenomenal idea. Uh, it seems like they have been doing their homework. Is it a good idea to open a brick and mortar store? Mm, it depends. Um, Fenty seems to have been doing good. Savage Fenty seems to have been doing good. The, the um, what do you call it? Um, fashion show. Um, I saw that the other day it's on Amazon prime, man. I don't even, I can't even do a review on that. Like everything was so overwhelming. Those camera angles, pff, insane. And the performances Nas performed, Bia performed, um, Normani performed. So I think Rihanna just has a, she's associated with a very good, good brand. So the lingerie, you know, you have this, the Fenty skin, you know, her beauty, um, her beauty line with Savage Fenty. So for them to open up a, a brick and mortar lingerie store, I think it's a good idea. So the co-president of Savage Fenty lingerie brand confirmed that the company plans to open physical stores in 2022, a move that she called an important part of its growth strategy. Okay. Because fit and comfort are so important. There are just customers who don't feel comfortable purchasing online. This is what the, uh, the co-president, uh, stated. I think it's a good idea. So they plan on opening up stores in the U.S. Uh, and then they plan to expand into the European Union. Uh, that's also a option. So they're coming soon. I, d I don't know. I don't think that this is a bad idea. Rihanna, she was listed as six, number 16 on the Forbes 2021 list of America's 100 richest self-made women. Uh, with an estimated 1.4 billion of her current 1.7 billion net worth from Fenty Beauty, which she launched in 2017. So, uh, the, uh, there's a it's a uh, European company or French comp well a French company a French luxury company that owns uh, Savage Fenty. So Rihanna, she basically has 30% stake in the company. Uh, and she's the face, obviously, of the brand. Not bad, you know, for a young lady. I don't, is Rihanna even 30 yet? How old is Rihanna? She's in her 30s? Either way, she's doing her darn thing. I hope that this is a successful launch. Listen, when Fenty Beauty, the makeup line, I remember when the makeup line launched, phew, the pre-orders were absolutely crazy. They were sold out in so many stores. It was very difficult to find uh, certain products. So Rihanna has done a good job as establishing herself as a business brand, a beauty, uh, and lingerie brand. She's doing a good job. So I don't think that she'll have any problems with a brick and mortar store. Um, I just hope that the economy is different by next year because you wouldn't want to put all that money, you know, all that investments, uh, that much investment into a brick and mortar store and it flopped. I don't think so though. I think this is great, heavy competition for, um, Victoria's Secret, right? I think they closed down a couple of their stores. They're not even doing the Victoria's Secret fashion show anymore. So I don't know if it was because of money issues or it was because 
uh, one of the presidents or the founders got themselves in some sort of trouble. I can't remember. But shout out to um, Rihanna. I wish her nothing but success. If there's a, a Savage Fenty lingerie store close by me, um, I'll definitely swing by and give it a visit. Why not? I like to support people who are doing the darn thing. All right, let's move into the BET Awards now, guys. All right, <laughs> let me adjust my seat. <laughs> this is a mess. Before I get into the list of winners, I, I wanted to see, I, I just wanted to talk about this really quick. So it's on site posted this. This is Ari Fletcher, okay? Her boyfriend is Moneybag Yo, the rapper Moneybag Yo. Uh, Ari Fletcher and Jada Ch Chivez, <laughs> I guess she made it back uh, from custom, made it back from Jamaica in time to record the uh, the BET Awards, but they presented, I forgot who it was. It was a performer. I don't I don't remember who performed, but they were in the audience and they uh, announced the performer. So they were there. They were on the red carpet. Some of the people who were at the BET Awards, it was just like, it, it's obvious that there was no one else. Everybody else was booked and busy. So let's just throw a couple of people together. This was the worst BET Hip Hop Awards I, I, ever. It, it was. Um, and, and that's a shame. So listen to what Ari Fletcher had to say. Let me just create the scenes. Ari Fletcher recently bought, recently purchased uh, land for Moneybag Yo. Moneybag Yo is her boyfriend. His birthday was last week or whenever the heck it was. So she purchased him some land. So on The Real, The Real Daytime talk show, uh, it was a hot topic that they were discussing. And I think it Garcelle Bouvet kind of had some concerns you know she said you know that's a big purchase for someone that you're not even married to uh, and then everyone s circulated on the blogs and the joke was fancy is hating on me because you know garcelle played fancy on the jamie fox show so everyone was joking about that so this person on the red carpet with uh, asked her about that and listen to what she had to say all right like to hear here go it's the biggest purchase I've ever made. <laughs> I know that's right. So, okay, obviously everybody's been talking about it. Did it surprise you that it got to a platform like The Real? Because they're a little bit out of your age range. You know what I mean? So, What a shady thing to say as an interviewer. They're out of her age range. So that means that if we are older than Ari, we can't talk about her. How did you feel when you heard them kind of, it seemed like they were trying to come for you. We seen your reaction, but like, really, how did you feel? Um, I feel like everybody just needs to focus on what they doing and who they doing it with and what makes them happy. Like, I feel like we in a different time zone right now. Like, the world is completely different. Time zone? <laughs> so it's not like it was when, you know, they was growing up. You know, like, it's different now. So we got different dreams and you know what i'm saying we we dream way bigger you know because we we can do it now you know what i'm saying like it's different for us like with the social media you know so i just feel like mind your damn business mind your damn business <laughs> we, we are the morning is that is that girl who interviewed her is it she is from uh angela yee's lip service podcast and she was on that joe but is that her anyway all right Here's my thing. What here's what I don't understand. This is what I don't understand. I guess you can consider her what we would consider a socialite back in the day. You know, someone who, not necessarily, they're not a rapper, musician, actor, actress. They're a socialite, kind of like the uh, uh, what do you call them? The the Hilton sisters, right? Socialite. You're famous because of who you are associated with or whatever, right? Because I don't think does Ari do music? I I don't know. I just know that she's Money Bag Yo's girlfriend. This is no shade. You're a seemingly public figure, right? A social social figure. You're on social media. People know you for being in videos. You know, you post a lot. I'm pretty sure you probably get paid for posting on Instagram. You post something like that and you don't think people are going to talk about it. Or is it that what was said was something that you didn't like. Now, if, if, if Garcelle Bouvet would have said, oh, I think that's phenomenal. And as a young woman, you know, we need to buy our Kings, our black brothers land instead of gold chain. Now, if she would have went, if she would have said that, I don't think Ari would have had anything, any problem with that. Right. She wouldn't have told them to mind their business. You see, this is what I don't understand. You put yourself in a position uh, to be 
seen by the public, but just don't say nothing. So if that's the case, if you didn't want, if you wanted everybody to mind their business, this is like, so is this like common? This is so, I don't get it. It's so simple, but people make it so, so difficult. If you want people to mind their business, right? Why are you posting it on social media? Once you post it on social media, there is no mind mind your business because the people that were praising you for doing it you didn't tell them to mind their business are we am i missing something am i out of the loop or am, am, am i in a different time zone i'm on eastern time by the way what about you guys i don't get it stop y'all need to stop y'all need to stop i don't i don't know you can respond she can respond however she wants to respond but it's like you put it on social media and I don't, and the person who was asking her that question because they're out of her age range, excuse me? <laughs> Y'all gonna stop age shaming people. They're sitting on a panel. You, you should be, you should be grateful that they're talking about you because it must be a slow news day. No offense for them to be talking about Ari Fletcher purchasing money bag, yo land. You're on a Emmy award winning show. They're talking about you on an Emmy award winning show, not just nominated, but they won Emmys. So see, I don't, I don't get it. I don't, I don't get, I don't get it. Who cares? Moving along. <laughs> Tell me what y'all think. <laughs> Cause I know a lot of y'all like Ari. All right. So the full winners list, shout out to that grapejuice.com.net. Sorry. I, 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 um, I read them a lot or I reference them a lot. Now I already got into the red carpet looks on a previous video. So you're just going to have to go. I may link it in this video. These awards, this award show was a hot flaming Cheeto mess. All right. So let's just get into it. Okay. First of all, okay. Tyler, the creator won cult, the cultural icon award, rock the bells, cultural icon award that was presented by LL Cool J. LL Cool J, you was a, you, you old enough to be somebody grandfather, put your pant leg down. So LL Cool J came and presented this award to Tyler, the creator. I will say this, Tyler, the creator was, you can tell that he really is a lover of hip hop. Whenever I hear him do interviews on certain podcasts, he just gives, he gives the OGs their flowers. He talks about construction of lyrics, which I'm all for. He's a lover of hip hop. And I think that this was a good honor for him. The fact that they created an award for him was, was great. In my opinion, I just think that they had no one else to give it to, but no offense. I'm not saying that he's not deserving. So hip hop album of the year. I'm going to tell you why I don't understand why he got hip hop album of the year. Not look, these are the nominees. You see it. Let me, let me make sure you guys see it. Okay. And Tyler, the creator was the one who won. Okay. Now I'm not saying that his album wasn't good. I'm not saying that he's not deserving of it, but here's my gripe. You gave Tyler, the creator hip hop album of the year, but lyricist of the year went to J Cole. So how you give J Cole lyricist of the year, but J Cole didn't get album of the year. But then again, I don't know. I don't understand. I don't know what determines a winner for the BET hip hop awards. No offense. Who do you think should have won album of hip hop album of the year? Right. Um, Meg, this, I was shocked to see that Meg the stallion was, was nominated for this. No offense. And these categories, some of them had too many nominees. I was like, some of them had like seven nominees. Like why? Well, I thought it was five. No, listen, they, they change it up every year. Song of the year. WAP, of course, I knew that was going to win, right? Uh, WAP, Cardi B featuring Megan Thee Stallion. And the nominees were Back in Blood, Pooh Shiesty. Is he still in jail? So these are the nominees here. But WAP won for Song of the Year. That was a given. Hip Hop Artist of the Year, Lil Baby. How do y'all feel about Lil Baby winning Hip Hop Artist of the Year? Cardi B, Drake, J. Cole, Megan Thee Stallion, Tyler, the Creator. Hip Hop Artist of the Year. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about Lil Baby winning that. I don't, I don't know. That could have gone to, I think that could have gone to Megan Thee Stallion. But again, what is the criteria? That could have gone to Megan Thee Stallion. But at least she was nominated. What do you guys think? 
best hip hop video. Of course, WAP won. Duh, I, I I call that. Um, best hip hop video. Good nominees. Good nominees. Best new hip hop artist. Young Blue won. How do y'all feel about the best new hip hop artist? I'm going to be honest with you. The fact that Coyla Ray was nominated, uh, that, that makes me a little bit like, uh, you know, and I, I get it. She had some big moments and remember her father is Benzino, but again, we don't, we don't know. And I, I don't mean any disrespect. It's just like best new hip hop artist, young blue. Okay. I guess I'm not mad at that. Best collaboration. Of course, Cardi B and Megan the stallion won. Um, I think who accepted the award? I think, uh, what's her name? Remy. Remy presented the award for one of them. Something that Cardi B won. Um, yeah. Remy looked nice too when she presented the award. So yeah, best collaboration. Cardi B featured Megan Thee Stallion WAP. We already knew. Best duo or group. Hmm. I really wish Chris Brown and Young Thug would have won. But Lil Baby and Lil Durk, their album did good. What What is the name of their album? Their album did fairly well, so maybe that's why they won. Um, best live performance, Tyler, the Creator. I, ha, ha, I don't get it. For what? Megan Thee Stallion could have won. <laughs> it sounded like I want Megan Thee Stallion to win for everything. That's because Megan's out here working like the rent is due, okay? And I'm not mad at it. Lyr See? Lyricist of the year, they gave it to J. Cole. But how, so how the hell they give Tyler the Creator album of the year? I don't know. I don't, I guess, whatever. Lyrics, they got Nas amongst Lil Baby, Megan Thee Stallion, Drake, Benny the Butcher, and J. Cole. J. Cole won. If that's the case, then why you ain't give Lyricist of the Year to Nas? But that's just because I like Nas as a lyricist overall. Best International Flow, Lil Sims from the UK. Video Director of the Year, Missy Elliott. Good for you, Missy. Deservedly so. And that is for, uh, what the heck is the name of the song? Twerkulator, the City Girls. She Missy directed that video. Shout out to you, Missy Elliott. Still winning awards. Missy's the GOAT. DJ of the Year, DJ Scheme. Okay. DJ Envy was nominated. DJ Drama. That's nice. Producer of the Year, Hit Boy. Hit Boy, huh? Interesting. Do you think that DJ Khaled should have won for Producer of the Year? Hit Boy won for Producer of the Year. Hustler of the Year, Sweetie. You guys are just going to make sure that we, that, that we, Sweetie is in our faces. Megan Thee Stallion couldn't get Hustler of the Year, but I guess they gave her too many awards, right? Shout out to Sweetie. Good for you. You out here doing your thing. I'm not hating, but I'm just saying, like, you just came on the scene. But okay, okay, okay. Best Hip Hop Platform, Genius. I see The Breakfast Club. The Shade Room was nominated. Shout out to The Shade Room for being nominated. Okay, come on. Instagram blogs. Yes. World Star Hip Hop, Double XL. Uh, hot New Hip Hop. I like Hot New Hip Hop. Hip Hop DX Complex. So genius. That would have been dope if The Shade Room would have won, but that's good that they were nominated. Good for them. Best 16, Best Featured Verse. Jay-Z, What It Feels Like. Nipsey Hustle, Nipsey Hustle featuring Jay-Z. Are you kidding me? Cardi B should have won for Type Ish on Migos' song. I mean, Migos', Migos album. Hard. Jay-Z, what it feels like. Jay-Z don't even... Child. Impact track. Nipsey Hussle featuring Jay-Z. Bye. That sh easily should have gone to uh, to Kirk Franklin and uh, uh, Lil Baby. Impact track. <sighs> Let me tell y'all something. These, like I said, the BET Awards snooze fest no offense the cyphers oh my god i'm gonna tell you the best cypher though what is that young boy's name i don't know his name it's a shame he's 18 uh he's gay openly gay rapper i think yeah he's like 18 years old he him he came to rap what is his name i don't know his name i'll probably put it in the comments later now nah, I'm not gonna do I'm not gonna do a uh, homie like that. I gotta I gotta look up his name. While I'm looking up his name, um, that cipher was all right. It was tolerable. It was tolerable. But that young boy, he came to he came to he came to rap, and I'm here for it. Erica Banks, 
I'm trying to look up the uh, young man's name. Erica Banks, <laughs> girl, what? How you going to... How you going to perform your song, like a part of your song? Let me tell you something, man. Y'all messing up Erica Banks on purpose. I, I wholeheartedly believe that y'all don't care about her. Whoever's her management team, y'all don't care about her. Y'all had Erica Banks looking crazy on the red carpet. Uh, no. No. Dang, what is his name? Oh, gosh, I can't find his name. Anyway, he was the young, uh, young gay, uh, rapper. They said that he was the first openly gay rapper in the cypher, whatever. But he was, he came to rap and I'm interested in hearing more from him. Um, and I'll be on the lookout for him. But overall, the cypher was a, it was a no for me, dog. It was a no for me. Everybody was out of breath. People were off beat. And I'm like, what are they listening to? As far as the performances, Lotto looked nice. Her performance was okay. She put effort into it. Uh, what's my man name? Something or other. Weegwe. Weegwe. I think that was him and his wife that performed. Their performance was very high energy. Uh, it was giving very much, you know, I grew up in church, but I'm going secular vibes. Um, who else? I don't, I don't know who else. Young Thug opened the show with um, Gunna. You know, I got excited when Young Thug performed Ski. I like Young Thug. I do. I like him. But Nelly got presented with the award. Nelly performed. Nelly wasn't out of breath. Nelly wasn't, you know, huffing and puffing and sounding crazy and offbeat. Uh, Jermaine Dupri presented him, presented him, or came out, I guess, when he came out. No, presented him with the award, right? Listen, my, con my, my content now, I'm getting agitated now that's why my words are fumbling up bt this bt hip-hop awards worse the worst i've ever seen and i watch all of them usually worse so you drop down and let me know what you think but before i go i have to tell you the best part no offense to anyone but to me the only thing that kept me keep watching were these guys shout out to 85 south show all of your jokes landed you were funny as heck dc young fly came out dressed like soldier boy okay doing the soldier dance with backup dances i like how they came out like they were in the uh <laughs> they came out like um they were in the movie belly okay and i'm here for it they looked great carlos chico all of them looked great um they did a good job all of their jokes landed yo let me get into something really quickly let me stop i keep saying yo i can be such a hard rock when I'm really a gem sometimes I wanted to I don't even want to close with this but this just <sighs> hold on y'all I'm sorry make sure y'all like the video I'm not I'm not excited about this because I don't understand what's going on this is Nick Cannon this is who y'all say should replace Wendy this is Nick Cannon <laughs> Carlos Miller said uh-uh don't come over here don't get us fired like you did over there this is this video is too long. This is Nick Cannon, y'all. What what's going on with Nick Cannon? And he was talking about crack music, like he had taken on the role of some whack rapper, crack baby. He said, "What's wrong with Nick? What's this a humiliation ritual? What what's going on?" He did this at the VMAs too. This who y'all said should take over for Wendy? I can't end like this. In other news. <laughs> Look at my girl. Not who that. Look at Kimmy Blanco. I'm signing off, y'all. The, 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 the BET Awards made me mad all over again. <laughs> all over again. Thank you for joining me on this, episodes of the, this episode of the Morning Boogie Morning Show. Shout out to all of you who are viewing live on Twitch. Shout out to y'all who are watching the replay on YouTube. Big up yourselves to my royal family members. Make sure you like the video. You still have time to do so. Again, admission fee costs you nothing. It's your form of payment. Sound off in the comments. Let me know what you think. What was your favorite performance, if you had one, of the BET Hip Hop Awards? Uh, I would have to say my favorite performance was all of the jokes that the 85 South show performed. That was the, to me, that was the best part of the awards it ke that kept me wanting to watch because i wanted to see and hear what they were going to do and say next signing off i hope you guys have a splendid wednesday if your notifications are on 
I'll be back. If you're subscribed to the channel, that's what I meant to say. If you're subscribed to the channel, make sure your notifications are on because I will be back. See, these, these BT words got my head all messed up. I'm about to take my wig off. I can't be bothered. I'm signing off. I love you for watching. And as always, until next time, folks, peace.